cannon beetle! Yeah! Everybody's here. Just everyone. This uh, also has... Pikmin has such a great premise for design levels. From the burner we just saw to the full sink. Because uh, It's such a great idea for a game and a setting. Just Earth. It's just Earth, but small. Also, Jeff looks like he has quite the tan here. Colin here, it looks like you're safely inside the structure. Based on your current location, we are right to conclude that Captain Olimar is in this area. I found a log associate, uh, associated with your exact coordinates. Unknown area. I'm so close to fully repairing the SS Dolphin. The remaining parts should be somewhere inside the, this giant structure that I've never seen before. It's as if the rules of logic I've come to understand may not apply here. I'll have to explore carefully now. Oh. And we've got one more piece of surprising news. The spaceship we found at the rescue command post is Captain Olimar, surprising absolutely no one. Ooh. After analyzing its flight logs, we can confirm it came from Hokitate. Olimar. Which means we can now track down Captain Olimar by scent. Before you set out, I had Ochi memorize any smells associated with the ship so we might be able to find its castaways. Oh. So find Captain Olimar Ochi. We're counting on you, Jeff. So how did the ship get outside? Because we saw the ship here. Many questions. Also, this area has been... Like, what we did as Olimar is, is present here. We're going to take out ten of each. Sure? No, uh, I don't know. Um, You know, we're going to need to take on the, the armored cannon beetle. So we will need rocks. I think this is a unique crew. Uh, with the... Um, why does it say ten on it? That's weird. I mean, I guess we can... Swarm? Does that work? Um... Oh, I could've just... Wow, that is unexpected. That's quite the little cranny to walk through. Keep that in mind. But yeah, what Olimar did has happened here. That's neat. Let's test out these new rock pick or these new purple Pikmin. Dead. And you guys as well. No homing attack. Worth noting. I uh, should be able to swarm that. Maybe. That's weird. I don't know how to. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Two treasures for the price of one? Grandma. You as well. Uh, also, because I don't have enough... I, oh, wait, I, I can't... I almost was like, I'll take out some glow pigment, but I can't do that. Uh, we're, we don't need to send... I, I can actually get out of that habit. That's a tunnel. I don't need to send Ochi back to base because I have... I can just press up. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, boy. Look over there. It's the dog that was running around with that leafling. It looks like it's all alone at the moment. I'll check and see what the voyage log says about it. Moss the guard dog. Moss has been, Moss has been guarding the outside of the bunker for me while I rest. She's been also been gathering up Pikmin, though it's unclear where she's finding them. Either way, I feel so lucky to have Moss by my side in all of this. So, if this dog was the Moss mentioned in the log, then that leafling must be... What? This is a plot twist. I cannot believe it. What symbol? What do you think you're doing? Huh? Huh? Oh, that's not good. He's an antenna beetle. Get! Oh boy. Oh boy. Does he have any purples? He doesn't. He is an antenna beetle. It's taken the Pikmin. I don't know what that dog intends to do with them, but we need to get them back. Die. Die, 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 die. This is not good. This is not good. 
Get out of the way. Oh. I don't know if he's stunned. Get ready to charge. Get ready to charge. Oh, he's, he's letting it loose. Get him. Get him. Don't lose purples. Don't lose purples. Come on. That's not what I want. Kill it. Okay. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, but he's going to come back. Can I carry him? No. Perfect. I would love to carry him. That's flying. That's flying. That's flying. Get back here. Get back here. Okay. Whew. We're fine. Call my idol Pikmin back to me. Kill this. I totally forgot what these are called. You can tell where my, pick my knowledge of Pikmin kind of stops. Ooh. Nice. Okay. He's going to regain health. We're kind of deep in enemy territory here, but I'll, I'll clear what I can see from here. You guys get that. Where are my flying Pikmin? Did I lose them? Where? I didn't lose them, did I? Oh, they're right there. Okay. We're fine. You go deal with that. Get me some plastic, because I'm actually completely out. Uh, I'll go to attack whatever those are. Again, because I chased after Moss, I'm kind of disoriented. I don't know how I'm supposed to fight those, but I did it, I guess? That looks... What is that? What did I just do? What is that? Why did I break that? That's weird. It's like a... I guess it may like, summon it back? I don't know what I just did. But I did it? I also don't think it's really worth it to carry that plastic back. Although... I'm not going to go up there yet. There's a lot more I need to do. Like, break that. And there are no Pikmin laying about anymore. Worth noting. Looks like that's a rocket knuckle, or the knuckle uh, item from Pikmin 2. Yeah, so it looks like, it's almost like a bread bug mechanic. Moss will come back and start bugging us again, although it looks like she takes her dear sweet time to do so. Um, I don't think we're really meant to knock her down that low. Yeah, no, we're not dealing with that. We're not dealing with that. That's not cool. You guys can all die. Okay, they're all dead. They're all dead. Okay, we're fine. We're all fine. We have everybody. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is terribly difficult so far. Hi. Uh, we're gonna... Kill. Chomp him. Big chomp. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. So much impact damage. They don't even really need to lock, latch on. Wait for it. Wait for him to stop. And... Bite. Big chomp. Look at that. They're really not that threatening. Get ready to dash. Boom. Yeah. Not a problem. What's in here? Uh, that. Idle Pikmin, get back here. You guys deal with that. And again, there are no Pikmin. Ooh, yeah, let's, let's go. One of you. Moss is way over there. She's in the, she's in the orange. I don't have rock Pikmin. Um, I can do a little bit of platforming if I want. And get, oh, and ram this. Literally, whatever isn't anchored down, we're just gonna grab. Pikmin? Wait, Pikmin? Why can't I throw my Pikmin? Hold up. Ochi? Was that a bug? That was weird. That was really weird. I couldn't... Ochi was with me, but not with me. Okay, this... Needs flying Pikmin? Or do I need to ram this? I forget. Oh, just a ram. Just a quick ram. Okay. So what are we, what are we doing? First off, getting them to me. I don't know why they were there. 
And we're gonna get to this button. Come on, guys. Now, the Armored Cannon Beetle. Very unique enemy, one of my favorites, because of how wacky it is. It'll suck up, it'll suck up air in the top, and shoot it out, and shoot it out his mouth. So what we gotta do is throw a Pikmin into, there we go, get it stuck, and then it'll open up its back and it basically overheats, I guess. I, I guess that's what's happening. And I got my Rock Pikmin. I don't have all Rock Pikmin. I do have some purples that I'm putting in jeopardy. But thankfully with the lock-on mechanic, this is a lot easier. Some Pikmin on him. We don't have a whole lot of good fighters right now, but we, we have a good enough crew. I'll, I'll call Idle Pikmin again, just in case maybe I can get my reinforcements. 20 isn't that great. Oh, I, I kind of get it. Okay, the reason why they were all isolated is because the idle, idle caller doesn't call us call them to us, it calls them to it. And so if we're in a different place by the time they arrive, they just stay there. Okay, that, make, that makes a lot more sense. Ooh, who did he just kill? Who did he? What? what did, did he just... He, I don't... Did he kill a rock? Somehow? That looked like a gray ghost. Hopefully we didn't just lose a purple. Yeah, that, that'll do him in. That'll do him in. One of the cooler bosses. Oh, it's Rolex! It's Rolex! <laughs> Look at the physics behind it! Go get that. It weighs three. <laughs> That's a good victory. Look at that. And then we're gonna hit the switch, which triggers the fan. And I guess we can get over there. Uh... What, what are they building? I actually forgot what I had them build. They're building... They're clearly building something, but I just don't remember. Okay, you guys die. They're having us build up to a lot of plastic. For what, I don't know. We also haven't seen any caves. There might not be any. This might be a Final Trial-esque area. Eh, fine. We're also up here for some reason? Is it... Oh, it's to catch a lift. That's what it is. Ugh. No! That's not good. Um. Well, you're on your own now, I guess. He'll catch up. He could catch up, maybe. It's just leading to this? Or it might be leading to the mantle. Okay, if there's no switch dock, there's no switch dock. But there is a cave. Okay, you get that. I have a lot of idle Pikmin, by the way. A lot of idle Pikmin. If anything... Oh, where... Are you guys da Are you you're dancing? Look at you guys. Look at you guys go. Is this my stopping point? I think it is. Unless I ruined it. It's going over to the other couch. Ooh. I can't get up there. That was a mistake. That's gonna cost me. Um, come back, please? That's not good. Uh, I should have done that. Here. Let's do this. Switch over to Ochi. And at least send him to go do something useful, I guess? Like, can he get to there? He might be able to. I don't know how. So there's a cave entrance. I really want to get into this cave, because it's right here. Oh, that's what they're building. Oh, that's how we get up. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, I'm gonna continue this plan because I want to get to the couch, but we are- we're okay. I don't know where they're having trouble calling. Oh. I also can't jump anymore. Eh, it's whatever. We'll get to the- we'll get to the couch later. I'm not losing any. Moss is almost back up. You want to carry that? We're just going to call them here just to get them out of trouble if they are in trouble. I, I've been kind of playing this fast and loose. Like, I kind of had Pikmin everywhere doing stuff. Oh. Die, please. Don't kill purple. Don't kill purple. Kill him. Lesson learned. You... 
swarming does not work. And why is that? That's so weird. So I lost a purple. That's um great. And they're Pikmin are acting really weird. What are they doing? Why are they acting so weird? They're almost acting like they're idle, but they're not. I don't understand that. Uh, let's switch up back to Ochi, and we're not gonna be able- Ochi, what are you doing? What is happening? It's almost- what are they- I don't understand. There's some, like, Pikmin Twilight Zone stuff going on here. Okay, you're almost back up. Actually, you basically are back up. That's concerning. We might be able to go in two caves, actually. You know what? Uh, going... Hmm. Pop's woken up. This activates. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna see if I can get into the other cave. Or at the very least, get this. Yeah, we're gonna get that. I don't know what, what, uh... I don't know what he's going to do, what Moss is going to do. She when she gets Pikmin, but she will. I'll, I'll just use the cave as a contingency. If she gets Pikmin before she leads them to their inevitable demise, I'll just enter a cave. Okay, there are those weird things. There are no... There's nothing... Like, I don't think I'll be able to get over there. Oh, I could... Uh, you know what? We'll push the bag. We'll push the bag. Don't take damage. Okay, fine. We'll push the bag, make a shortcut, and then we'll go in the cave. I like that plan. And we're gonna get that close. We might be able to get it all the way? Yeah, let's get it all the way, why not? Why not? I have no idea where Moss is. Kind of frightening. Who knows what dastardly deeds she's up to. Yeah, once I see the countdown, then, then I'll go into the cave. Check on Jeff, because that area is weird up there. Okay, he's fine. I don't understand. Okay, I think we're good. There, there she is. She doesn't see me. Yeah. Pile of raw material transported, and the treasure is... Seconds away. We're about to get the countdown. Switch. And what's the cave? We're going inside of a, of a tech cabinet. The doppelganger's den. I keep, uh, I keep commanding Moss to follow a scent, but she keeps leading me completely off track. There must be some creature down here emitting an unusual smell that can trick not just Moss, but, but the Pikmin and my, uh, uh, and my sensors as well. What a deceptive ecosystem. So that's actually intended. Whatever we were dealing with is foreshadowing to what's in this dungeon. That bodes very poorly. Let's go inside. I'm excited. And only two suggested kind of Pikmin. Ice ice and blues again. I'm kind of surprised there are no yellows. Last cave of my recording session. Let's go inside and conquer this thing. Doppelgangers again. Again. <laughs> Den. Sub-level one. What does this bode? It's like the shower room. We have these things again. I don't quite understand them. Okay, freezing them works. I don't understand. I wonder if... Maybe... Maybe all the shiny thing is is a distraction. That could be it. I just... Part of me is like, oh, Plasm Wraith. But it's clearly not. There's nothing there. Huh. So it's like the Cave of Distractions. There are a bunch of ways for us to go. I I'm getting a weird vibe from this cave. I don't know. Maybe it's just because we just went into the, um... Was it the engulfed cavern, the submerged castle equivalent. 
but there's just uh, something weird here. And if this is the final area, I could see. Oh. Okay. Okay. I see your tricks. Okay, so it's just the cave of distractions. Deal with that. You guys get some get some sip. Ha! This exact treasure is in Pikmin 2. Die. Okay. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. There's water around. If this is anything like the shower room, there are gonna be like bull bears in here. Can I throw some actual Pikmin on there? Can you guys get that done quickly? Come on. Oh, really? Oh, that only takes 15. Okay, yeah, let's just freeze that. Die. Get some mobility here. Okay, you guys. Deal with that. And the blues really aren't... Ooh, that's gonna be interesting. I can't take that out of the ice. Okay, I like that trade-off. Different downsides to water. Different, a lot of different downsides. It's it's always a decision process with this game of what what makes the most sense for you to be doing right now. You have options. They're all fairly equivalent. It's just convenience and figuring out which one is the correct one. For example, that freezing the freezing the water is good, but you can't grab the treasure. Can you guys deal with that. Um, can you guys yeah freeze that? I can't get to the enemy, and that's another one. But it allows me to get up here easily, which I couldn't do otherwise. I love these trade-offs. I don't need to even beat that enemy. Yeah, there's no there's no treasure in, inside of him. Lots of different decision-making processes. Also, Ice Pikmin can just straight-up swim, by the way. I suppose that makes sense. They are buoyant, but that this is the confirmation. I don't need to worry about Ice Pikmin and bring them into water. Which the comments have probably been saying, but this is a this is a big recording batch, because I I'm back into the swing of things. Uh, I my surgery on my, uh, the surgery on my hand went very well, and I I'm feeling good. I I still have stitches in, but my hand is fine. I just really want to play games. It's kind of hard for me to play other games when I'm I have a let's play because it's. Whenever I, I do that, I'm like, okay, but I could just be editing the video, or I could be working on D&D. &D. And then I'm also playing three games on the channel right now, or two games on the channel right now, so it's just spreading myself kind of thin. I like it. I love, I love recording. But <clears throat> this is kind of my excuse to play games. Because it's a, a project. Man, we get a lot of Ice Pikmin. L losing them right as we entered the Serene Shores wasn't as catastrophic as I thought it would be. Ah, oh, you. Ha! Huh, we can deal with you now. Meet the big bite of Ochi. Which it completely ignores stinky people. You're there. What happened? What? What? Wait. They almost died, but like from what? That was weird. I don't understand what happened there. They got... They got poisoned. Weird, man. And what does this do? Oh, okay. Alright, that makes... Things a little bit more, a little bit more obtuse. So we're gonna, we're gonna step on this again. And we're gonna split the party. You stay over here. You're gonna be, you're gonna be the guy at the chair. Go deal with him. Yeah, your distraction really isn't that good. 
Also, I think I'd want to take back the gem. That seems very nice. <gasps> About time. About time. We get a new Pikmin. Meet our little buddies, the Whiteys. <laughs> They're hyperactive. They're immune to poison. They're incredibly fast, and if eaten, will kill their attacker. White Pikmin this time. I can't wait to find out what qualities these little guys have. The White Pikmin. Rare, rare white Pikmin come from white candy pop buds. Actually, those are ivory candy pop buds that bloom in caves. They're small and notably fast on their feet, but their attacks are lacking. Imbued with enough poison to be lethal to a bulborb, these wily Pikmin are resistant to poisonous gases themselves. Watch out! But poison? I'm sure they aren't a threat to us, but I suggest you handle them with care and keep them away from my food. And by that I mean you. I guess you're off the list for now, Jeff. Okay, now, here's a thing I was very confused about. In Pikmin, in Pikmin 2, uh, there, it wasn't just that they had those abilities, but also, they could see underground. That's the whole point, that's the whole impetus of them having red eyes, is they have x-ray vision. So why, why the nerf? I don't get it. Quick, 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 quick. Okay. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. Go. Freeze this. Thank you. Okay, no enemies in here. We're fine. Uh, man at the chair. Do me a favor. Switch. Flip that switch. And then you guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. And just for good measure, we're gonna throw one, two, three, four, five. There, watch how fast these guys are. Watch them. Oh, they're so fast. Look at them go. Okay, but seriously though, uh, real quick, you guys, get out of the ice. I need to get a treasure there. Whites, whites don't. Whites don't. No, no, no. Are you kidding me? No. Come on, come on. No, 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 get on the... I should have frozen it again. I should have frozen it again. Are you kidding me? I saw it happen and... No! Gah! No! Are you... No! Are you... Oh, I, okay, I didn't lose them all. I didn't lose them all. I thought I did. I thought I lost them all but one. <laughs> I, I lost two. That's fine. And then I, I also sent my... <sighs> that, um... <laughs> okay, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I can't, I can't linger on that. That was so... I... I just froze. I was like in other Pikmin mode. And I was thinking, okay, okay, okay. I, I can whistle them. I think they're fine. I think they're okay. But then I, I didn't think, I thought too late. I was like, wait, I could just be swarming the ice with the, the, or swarming the water with the ice. And then by then it was like, it was too late. There, I already saw one sinking and that's like, oh my word. And then it was also a gamble too. I, I should have just seen what was happening and been like, oh, no, no, refreeze it, refreeze it, refreeze it. But I lost two whites. I mean, <laughs> my word. Uh, I actually need to go back because that, um, that, yeah, um, <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Brush it off. Brush it off. I feel like I'm saying that every single episode. Just, oh, well, uh, play where lies. Yo, make, don't make another mistake, and then I make another mistake. Ooh, I need to do this. Ochi. Uh, Ochi, switch. 
And then I'm gonna give you some Pikmin here. And then you. You can jump. Jeff cannot. Switch back. Switch back. S flip the switch again. Get ready to charge. That works, I guess. Um, I'm try I wish I could bite him, but I, I'm kind of forced not to. That, that works. Okay, I got, I got my SNES controller that doesn't have a cord. And then Ochi. Oh, we're gonna have to flip the switch again. Once they're through. Boom. There you go. I would have loved to see the SNES controller fit through that tiny hole, but unfortunately that is not going to happen. And then we're going to take our three white Pikmin uh, and go to the cave. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. 